I'm feeling anxious, I'm feeling excited, I'm feeling excited to reveal this story, but I'm also feeling really excited to reveal the power and the talent of Gugu and Bata Roar, who plays the title role in this story. She's absolutely incredible, and um, so it's a little bit of nerves. It's letting the baby walk out by itself onto that big stage to all the audiences, and um, yeah. Now, everyone's been telling me that the story was just inspired by a portrait. Is that true? Elaborate a little bit. Absolutely true, yeah. Um, my producer, Damien Jones, has been trying to get a story told about this portrait for quite a few years. And, um, you know, the project had stalled. He hadn't been able to get it off the ground. He came back to me, he came to me um, with this postcard of this wonderful um, mixed race woman, absolutely beautiful, in silks looking like every bit the British aristocrat but with brown skin. Standing next to her white counterpart who was her cousin Elizabeth who was brought up as her sister in one of our iconic British homes or estates called Kenwood House. I couldn't believe this. It was incredible. It was sitting there on my lap, this, this, this postcard. And I was like, who is this woman? Why is she standing as an equal next to this white girl? She's not a little servant in the painting or a slave. Why is she so beautiful? Who commissioned this painting? What is the story? And from there, you know, luckily I was commissioned as a, a writer and a director on the film. Um, and after many years, several drafts of writing the script, um, we, we were able to get the film financed. It, we got it to a quality where people were happy to put their money into the film and, and, and get the film made. Um, we set about casting, surrounding Gugu with an incredible British ensemble, thespian, Academy Award nominated and winning um, cast, Tom Felton, Emily Watson, Miranda Richardson, Penelope Wilton, the gorgeous Penelope Wilton, and, um, and it is my dream cast. It's absolutely fantastic. So, and we had a ball, tight schedule, tough British summer, <laughs> but we got there. And, you know, I know essentially that it is a bit of a love story, but there's so many deeper issues that really are touched upon. What do you hope the audience takes away from it when they see it? You know what? So many. Um, this is a story that is a love story, as you say. It's also a story about race, class, status, the woman's place. You know, all of these are very, very important. It's also a really important father-daughter story. I lost my father while we were making the film. Um, he died and eight hours later I was shooting the finale scenes of the film and so it was so important for me to honor my love for my father and that relationship with my father in the relationship between Dido Elizabeth Bell and Lord Mansfield that we know existed. He left her money in his will, he adored her. That is documented in history and I wanted to make sure that was up on the screen. So I, I, I wanted, what I want the audience to take away from it is there are two more heroes in our history that we can celebrate. Dido Elizabeth Bell and the great Lord Mansfield, who was our highest judge in the land at the time, the Lord Chief Justice, who was the man who commissioned this portrait, but took a seminal step towards the abolition of slavery in the UK using a court judgment um, that he presided over, which is also profiled in the film. I want audiences to know we have two more historic heroes here.